will happen to us in one billion years. Humankind has always dreamed of sneaking a peek into the future. Sci-fi writers of the past, with their rich imaginations, describe technologies that we actually have nowadays. So could it be that everything you see in futuristic movies today will come true in a few centuries? Most likely. But what if we wonder about a more distant future? Say, one billion years from now? Before we hop into our time machine, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the notification bell while you're at it, so that you don't miss the fun and informative videos coming out every single day on the Bright Side of Life. Alright, let's set our course for one billion years into the future. We're about to watch what will happen to our planet throughout all this time. Get ready for some really significant changes. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. The first impressive benchmark will be the year 10,000. This is when people will face Y10K, also known as the Deca Millennium Bug or the Year 10,000 Problem. Since years will now need to be expressed in five-digit numbers, software won't be able to put into code dates that start at 10,000 CE. Besides that, by this time human genetic variations such as people's hair and skin color won't be regionalized anymore. These traits will be evenly spread around the globe will all uniformly be the human race. Let's go further. If you suddenly found yourself 20,000 years from today, chances are that you wouldn't understand people at all, even if nowadays you speak several languages. And that's because by year 20,000, all modern languages will have evolved into something completely different. Only one out of every 100 words in our current vocabulary will remain in this distant future. Arriving about 50,000 years from our current time, and the world will be entering another ice age. This will lead to all kinds of changes. For example, all the lakes situated on the Canadian Shield, as well as other landmarks, will disappear due to erosion. You won't be able to enjoy the might of Niagara Falls any longer. Climate change will take care of that. In addition, Days will become one full second longer, which will lead to a lot of confusion. Unless, of course, people will officially make one day 24 hours and one second. In 100,000 years, the constellations and stars that you see from Earth today will look absolutely different. The reason for this change in the night sky will be the distance Earth and the solar system will have traveled throughout the galaxy's orbit. Also, by this time, we'll likely have colonized Mars. So, people will probably be marveling at the new stars from its surface. In 250,000 years, a new island will arise in the Hawaiian Islands. It'll be the Low Ihi Volcano, which is predicted to appear from the ocean depths around that time. Earth will be struck by a gigantic asteroid 3,280 feet in diameter about 500,000 years from now. The crater from this asteroid will be no smaller than 250 miles across. As a result, disastrous fires will start all over the planet and the air will become unbreathable. On the other hand, by this time, humankind will likely have already invented the necessary technology to prevent this gigantic rock from smashing into the Earth. But even if this asteroid doesn't get a chance to change the surface of our planet, many landmarks will have vanished on their own. In half a million years, the Badlands National Park in South Dakota will have eroded into nothing. About 950,000 years in the future, and the famous meteor crater in Arizona is now gone. This huge hole in the ground with a diameter of 39,000 feet and a depth of 560 feet, surrounded by a 148-foot tall rim, will simply flatten out due to erosion. If anybody's still living in Earth in one million years, they'll have to face a huge threat around this time. A supervolcano will go off, covering an area of 720 cubic miles with expelled magma. Such an unimaginable amount of lava is enough to fill up about 75% of the Grand Canyon. Scientists believe that the force of this eruption will be similar to that of the Toba supervolcano. It happened roughly 70,000 years ago and nearly destroyed humankind. About 800 cubic miles of ash covered the planet at that time. According to some estimates, only 3,000 to 10,000 people managed to survive this 20-year-long volcanic disaster. Besides a massive super eruption, the star Betelgeuse will explode into a supernova, and this will be clearly visible from our planet. 
As two million years pass, the Grand Canyon has slowly been deteriorating, turning into a valley rather than a huge canyon. Actually, the planet looks completely different on a whole. By this time, however, people will have left Earth and settled down on other planets. Even more than that, they'll probably have already evolved into a very different species entirely. About 10 million years in the future, a huge piece of East Africa will break off from the mainland and a new ocean will appear between these parts. Mars will collide with Phobos, its own moon, 50 million years from now. And this will cause some pretty serious damage to the red planet. As a result though, Mars may acquire a new decoration, a ring system similar to the one that Saturn has nowadays. At approximately the same time, here on Earth, one more chunk of Africa will wander off and collide with Eurasia. As a result, the Mediterranean Sea will vanish from the surface of the planet. Besides that, a mountain range will appear between Eurasia and Africa with a height that will likely dwarf Mount Everest. As for the Canadian and American Rockies, in 60 million years they'll completely flatten due to erosion. And after 80 million years pass, the Hawaiian Islands will disappear into the ocean. One more asteroid is likely to hit Earth again in the next 250 million years. The power of this one will be equal to the force of the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs around 66 million years ago. At the same time, this asteroid may cause the continents to come back together again, forming a new Pangaea Ultima. But this reunion is unlikely to last. In the following 400 to 500 million years, this supercontinent will split up yet again. Another million years later, our planet will be hit with a lethal burst of radiation. This will be the result of a distant star about 6,500 light years away from Earth dying and exploding into a supernova. You see, this process emits incredible amounts of radiation known as gamma ray bursts. To give you an idea of just how powerful this sort of explosion is, a gamma ray burst emits more energy in just half a minute than our Sun has in the 10 billion years of its existence. That's why, despite a huge distance of 6,500 light years, this event will severely damage our planet's ozone layer, which will result in another mass extinction. Another problem will be the ever-increasing luminosity and power of the Sun. It'll cause the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere to drop down to such levels that photosynthesis won't be possible anymore. As a result, 99% of the plants on Earth will die. Oxygen and ozone will drain from the atmosphere, killing all kinds of complex life. All of this will happen by the year 800 million. And finally, one billion years from now, the force of the sun will increase by 10%. The temperature on the surface of the planet will rise to an average of 117 degrees Fahrenheit. The oceans will evaporate and Earth will turn into a damp greenhouse. Some areas of liquid water will probably still exist at the poles. If so, they'll be the last strongholds of life on the whole planet. In any case, whatever happens to Earth after that, humans won't be there to witness it. We'll have left our mother planet long ago. So. Thankfully, we won't be around to see all these catastrophic changes. Do you have any other ideas how the future of our planet may unfold? Share your opinion in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. The future is a lot more promising on the bright side of life.